Okay, so uh, I just shot 14B and it got cut off at the very end, which is just as well because I was not doing a good job of explaining myself. So uh, in 14C, we took some data and uh, that data is here and you can't really see it, but I've got little pinholes there and so I had a little uh, lens that kind of looked a little bit like this. And so I had rays of light that came in and then went out. And they went out at very slightly different angles because of refraction. And so this is one, two, three, one, two, three. And so I'm going to say that this is, uh, I'm going to call my normal. So right now this is my normal. And this up here is also my normal. And so we're measuring all the angles off of there. So I got to go 90, there's 20, uh, 22, 24. That's, that's, uh, grows up in groups of four. So that's, uh, one, two, let's see. Yep, so that's going to be 27, 27, I'm going to call it 28 degrees. So that's 28 degrees right there. I'm going to call this as uh, 120, 125. I'm going to call that 127. I'm going to call that uh, 37 degrees. And then I'm going to call this one, uh, let's see, that's 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that's 56 degrees. And then over here, I'm going to call that 10, 20, uh, oh, I got these numbers wrong. I'm sorry. I apologize. That's one, two, three. Okay. So the first one, 10, uh, 20 minus one, two, three. So it's going to be 17 degrees. And then we have 21, two, three, four, so that's going to be 24 degrees, and that's going to be 30, 31 degrees. Okay, so we're going to make a nice little data table where we're going to say theta incident, and we have theta refracted, And so we have uh, 28 degrees goes with 17 degrees. We have 37 degrees goes with 24 degrees. And we have 56 degrees goes with uh, 31 degrees. And now we have Snell's Law. which says that N1 sine theta 1 is equal to N2 sine theta 2, where N1 is the index of refraction, well N is the index of refraction, and it is N is the speed of light speed of light in a vacuum divided by
So the speed of light in a vacuum divided by the speed of light in a material. So n is a measure of how much the light is slowing down. The bigger n is, the more it's slowing down. So n for a vacuum would be the speed of light in a vacuum divided by the speed of light in a vacuum, so that's going to be 1. And then n air is going to be very, very close to 1. It's going to be 1.0008 or something like that. I don't know, I might be getting a, a 0 off. So for n for air, air is very close to being a vacuum, so it's very close to being 1. So N2, for my experiment, is index of refraction for plastic, for the plastic that I used in the lens. So I'm going to have N2 is equal to n1 sine theta 1 divided by sine theta 2. So I'm going to have n2 is equal to 1 sine 28 degrees divided by sine 17 degrees. I'm also going to have n2 is 1 sine 37 degrees divided by sine 24 degrees. I'm also going to have N2 is 1 sine 56 degrees divided by sine 31 degrees. So I'm going to go sine 28 divided by sine 17 and I'm going to get 1.61. I'm going to pull that up. I'm going to change the 28 to 37. And I'm going to change the 17 to 24. And I'm going to get 1.48. I'm going to take, uh, do it one more time, sine of 56 divided by sine of 31, and I'm going to get 1.61, and then I'm going to average those up. So I'm going to get 1.61 times 2 plus 1.48, I'm going to divide that by 3, and I'm going to get one point you know, 1.57 and I'm going to say that um, I'm working in two significant digits because I really have very low accuracy so I'm going to say that N for the plastic is approximately 1.6 and it doesn't have any units because it's a ratio. Okay, so that's doing a, a very poor job of uh, doing that measurement and in the lab you can do a much much better job using the entire time as opposed to just you know 11 minutes of video.